Hey everybody, welcome back. I've got your big number five genre here. Um, you're gonna you're gonna love it. It's one of my favorites, and um, a lot has it has had a lot to do with our American music today. So if you haven't seen the other five, other four parts of this uh, American origins, the origins of American music series I've got going on right now, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll see I've got more coming up. We're only on part five right now. We've got got a few different um, genres to talk about um, that have affected uh, our music today and we get into the music today's genres as well. So I'm Donald Witt, the bass instructor for the online course, um, online bass lessons course, I want to play bass.com. So go on over there, check it out as well, subscribe, there's a free gift there, an ebook of how to set your bass up for success. And um, it gives you the whole nine yards of tearing it down, taking it apart. It's all videos, too, so you can see it. You know, it's kind of like hands-on. You can see it, and as we go, you can work on it at the same, at the same time because you don't adjust it to, to my needs. You adjust it to your needs, so that'll, that helps you, you know, you learn how to do that. <clears throat> so we just walk you through everything. So that's free. Jump in there, read, um, read up on that, and... Hit me up if you got any questions. Even hit the comments down below if you want. Um, if you got any, have any questions or anything, um, um, I love the interaction. It it helps me out. So, so without further ado, we'll dive right into this. We have the the fifth part of this mini series, which is the rhythm and blues. That's a genre that came about after the um, after. After the other, we've got the ragtime, country, jazz, blues, and then rhythm and blues. But we know that the blues had influenced most of those, but it was before it was even the term blues was coined for the blues. So, you know, it kind of gets lost because of, you know, initially how it came about. But um, but we've talked about the blues already. We'll talk about the rhythm and blues now. And it it originated in African-American communities in the 1940s. Um, the African-Americans slowly migrated to the urban industrial centers like um, of Chicago, Detroit, New York City, um, L.A., and, and elsewhere in the, in the 20s and 30s and created a new market for jazz, um, blues, and related genres of music. <clears throat> so rhythm and blues came from jazz and blues, which, which overlapped in the late 20s and 30s. Um, and through the work of musicians like Harlem Hamfats and, and their hit in, the, in 36 O Red, um, the, the names like Lonnie Johnson, Leroy Carr, Cab Calloway, Count Basie, and Tebow Walker um, were big names of rhythm and blues, and they helped push the rhythm and blues to the forefront of um of the genre at that time because as we know ragtime it kind of slowly faded out um in the 30s as these new genres came about the older genres started to fade out and you know that's one of them that kind of ragtime faded out but the other ones they you know they reinvented themselves and kept going in different directions but we know rhythm and blues came in and it as well gets split up into um, a different other genres and almost kind of loses its the beginnings of rhythm and blues. But um, but it um, it it stays true today though. But it's definitely different versions of rhythm and blues today as we have it. Um, the electric guitar was emphasized as a lead instrument along with piano and saxophone. That's kind of what kept it from the blues. That electric guitar kind of pushed it into a different feel and gave it a different, um, just a different feel that, that we call it now rhythm and blues. Um, the boogie woogie is, an, is a musical genre that I didn't talk much about because it, it didn't hang around too long, but um, it was big up to the 30s and influenced some R&B musicians and those influences um, of the boogie woogie took um, Louis Jordan. Um, he dominated the top five listings of the R&B charts, 
and two songs were based on the, the boogie woogie rhythms, which was a combination of the the blues and ragtime. So, you know, boogie woogie is also a genre that was it's a little sooner than R and B, but it wasn't as big. It's um but it was big when it was you know, when it was it was big when it was big. So it just didn't stick around as long. But um and that was influenced by blues and ragtime. Those two together created that because it had that the swing feel. Um, and R&B has been described as a boogie woogie, except with a grittier feel, um, and a rocking jazz based music. That's their with a heavy beat. Those are some of the um, descriptions of R&B. So it's definitely the boogie woogie has a lot to do with. R&B, as well as jazz and blues. Blues for sure, but when those two jazz and blues overlapped, that's kind of give us our rhythm and blues. Um, so we got the term rhythm and blues. Um, you know, it was used loosely types of, it was to describe post-war um, black Americans popular music at that time and some American rock music was derived from it. Um, the term was started by Jerry Wexler in 1947 to replace the demeaning term um, initially the name of um, R&B's was race music so you know, it was kind of demeaning and after post-war we you know it just you know, wasn't necessary so they they coined R&B rhythm and blues and um, Definitely a good choice. It um, it was used to consider a, a and R and B was used to consider a number of contemporary forms that evolved at the time, and that's that's what we have. Um, you know we have R and B, the um, you know we went to a British R and B about the time. Um, you got the the sixties, like after the Beatles and stuff like that. Rolling Stones and um, the Who were considered British R&B, and then the Black popular music kind of pushed off to giving us soul, our soul music today. So that's where kind of R&B split off as well. But um, but R&B, it was the the electric guitar became more front and center with with R&B for sure. Um, with musicians like Little Richard, we've all heard of Little Richard, and and Hank Ballard, um, so that's that's when R and B started to evolve into rock and roll from those um, influences. Little Richard, his style, and Hank Ballard, they kind of pushed into um, into rock and roll. But like I said, in, in the nineteen sixty nine, the the Black Pops chart pop charts name would change would change blues um, and would attain a new new meaning thanks to the British bands and that was what I was speaking about the um, the Rolling Stones and the who it would become a British um, British um, R&B those bands um, they took that genre and they they made it into British R&B so like the blues, it it's a um, it's a very important genre in our in our history of music for sure. It was went through some trying times, and um, music was what people had to help them through these times, and so that's how we've got these important genres and how they mixed and blended to give us each single genre is is pretty pretty amazing and the music appreciation is is definitely something to help you as a bass player um to be aware of the knowledge of it is you know just knowing the times you know like they say history repeats itself or we learn from learn from our mistakes so that's um that's where we're we're at today and these these genres are very important and like i said you, you add these genres now you know about the R&B, when you're asked to play an R&B tune, you, you've got an idea of how it's come from, and you've got a little bit of the feel, and the story behind it helps you 
add to the, your bass playing. So that um that helps so to know know where these genres came from helps you as well to just feel you can put yourself in those that time and time of um time and day and it'll just help influence your bass playing for sure but like the blues the um the chord progressions mainly used or it's one four five it's that's a solid chord progression they they use that a lot utilize that chord progression a lot and um it was consist of a lot of the dominant chords as well to give it that blues feel and um like jazz a lot of the r&b uses the swing feel and that's that's where you get the blues feel r&b just just the groovy feel so r&b accents the upbeats as well giving it that drive feel that's where it gets the um the swing feel the drive is accenting those upbeats so I'm just going to um, use this um, use this time to give you a blues, just a standard blues um, bass line that that you can use pretty much in anything. You know, just kind of um, modify it as you know as you're familiar with the ensemble and the to accompany everybody else. So don't just use it as it is, but. Um, this is just a blues feel, rhythm and blues feel, and um, you can use it all the time, and it'll be in the key of E, and it'll just be, basically, get on up here, just basically, let me see if I can get it here. basic blues feel right there and that's the key of E and um, it's just going to be in the key you're going to jump up to that major major third and then you do that minor third jump to there so it's just the fifth so the root the third and the fifth jump to the fourth the chord of that major scale it's just So that's that's basic uh, standard baseline for rhythm and blues, and um, so just work on that. And like I say, check check me out at um, I want to play and it's got subscribe there, get your free ebook, and then we have the online course there that 
you can sign up for and it's you know getting any cheaper than that you know you spend more on a cup of soda or a glass of a bottle of soda every day so that's it check it out sign up we go from the whole nine yards from the very beginning you know teaching the fundamentals of um, bass playing and and teaching you how to make a living as a bass player so that's um that's kind of our goals and i know most people when they play this thing they they want to be able to make a living with it and that's nothing more amazing than that and seeing people that come out of our courses doing that is um is what moves myself so check us out i want to play bass.com and look forward like i say subscribe comment down below if you have anything to say and um let me know i can i, I got you know a few more genres coming up and we're moving up to, you know, we're getting into the 50s now so we're getting coming a long way from the folk tradition the settlers days so all right great check out the other ones and see y'all thank you